Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to do the sunflower charm. The flower size is about 10 cm. It has a small pocket at the back. You can put your coins or keys inside. I'm using 4 ply cotton yarn or sports yarn and 2.5 mm hook. This is a simple project, easy for beginner. Let's do it step by step. We start from a magic ring. Do six single crochet in this magic ring. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pull the tail tight to close this loop. Then do a slip stitch to join the first stitch. We need to do slip stitch at the end of each round. Do a chain to start round two. In round two, we will do two single crochet in each of the stitch. You can use a pin to mark the first stitch. Move to the next stitch, do two single crochet. At end of round two, we have 12 stitches. Do a slip stitch to join the first stitch. Now we can cut the tail. Do a chain to start round 3. In the first stitch, we do one single crochet. Then move to the next one, do two single crochet. Repeat this pattern for six times. One single crochet in the first stitch, then two single crochet in the next stitch. At the end of round three, we have 18 stitches. Do a chain to start round 4. Do a single crochet in the first stitch. Mark the first stitch. Then do two single crochet in the next stitch. Then one single crochet in the next stitch. Repeat this pattern for six times. At end of round four, we have 24 stitches. Do a chain to start round five. From round five, we will work on the back loop only. In the first three stitches, do one single crochet in each of the stitch. Then in the fourth stitch, to two single crochet. And repeat this pattern for six times. At 
and in the front five, we have 30 stitches. To a chain to start round six, again in round six, we also work on the back loop only. Do one single crochet in the first two stitches. In the third stitch, do two single crochet. Then, in the next two stitches, do one single crochet. And repeat this pattern for six times. At end of round six, we have 36 stitches. Do a chain to start round seven. Work on the back loop also. Do a single crochet in the first five stitches. One stitch. Two. Three. Four. Five. Then move to the next stitch to two single crochet. One, two. Then repeat this pattern for six times. At end of round seven, we have 42 stitches. Now come to the last round, round eight. We'll do one single crochet in the first three stitches. One, two, three. Move to the next stitch to two single crochet. One, two. Then do one single crochet in the following three stitches. One, two, three. Repeat this pattern for six times. At end of round 8, we have 48 stitches. Now let's do the pistol. Take the dark brown yarn. We're going to work on the front loop from round 4 to round 6. Connect the yarn on the front loop of any stitch on round 4. Do 3 chain. Then do a slip stitch into the same position we did the 3 chain. Now skip one stitch and slip stitch to the next stitch. Do three chain, then slip stitch into the same position. Skip one stitch, then slip stitch to the next stitch. Three chain, slip stitch to the same position, skip one stitch, move to the next stitch, do a slip stitch. Repeat this pattern on the front loop from round four to round six.
This is how it looks like. Now let's do the petals. We have two layers of petals. One is on round 7 and another one is on round 8. Both work on the front loop. Now take the yellow yarn and connect to any front loop of round 7. Do two chains, then do a double crochet in the same position. Then move to the next stitch. Do a treble crochet first. Then do two chains. Do a picot stitch. Then in the same position, do another treble crochet. Now move to the next stitch, do a double crochet. Then do two chains. Move to the next stitch, do a slip stitch. This is one petal. Let's do another one. Chain two. In the same position, do a double crochet. Move to the next stitch, do a treble crochet. Chain two, do a picot stitch. Then in the same position, do another treble crochet. Move to the next stitch, do a double crochet. Then chain two, move to the next stitch, do a slip stitch. Now we've done another petal. Each petal occupies three stitches on round seven. We have 42 stitches on round seven. So in the end, we should have 14 petals. And do a slip stitch on round 8. Repeat this pattern on round 8. At end of round 8, we should have 16 petals. Then we can do a few chains to make the string. I did 60 chains for this one. Prepare another disc in green color. 
follow the descriptions on the screen from round one to round eight. Just do normal stitches for this disc. Now we can sew the two pieces together. Leave an opening at the top. Now let's make the leaves. First we do 13 chains. Insert your hook from second chain from the hook. Do a single crochet. stitch marker to mark the first stitch move to the next chain do a half double crochet then in the next eight chains do one double crochet in each of the chain Then in the next chain, do a half double crochet. In last chain, do three single crochet. Now turn to the other side. Do a half double crochet and at the same time wrap the tail in. Then in the next eight stitches, do one double crochet in each of the stitch. Then do a half double crochet. In the last stitch, do two single crochet. Then do a slip stitch join first stitch. This is the first round. Then do a chain to start second round. In this round, we'll do single crochet all around. Miss one single crochet in each of the stitch. Then we will reach the tip, do one single crochet, then do a picot stitch, do another single crochet in the same position. In the following stitches, do one single crochet in each of the stitch. We'll make two leaves, cut yarn for one leaf, continue to chain for another leaf, chain 10. Then do slip.
slip stitch into bottom of the flower. Do another full chain, slip stitch into another leaf.